be crawls or we are just one block away from here. Uh -huh. uh, some people that are living there on the beach. Like, like homeless, unfortunately. Uh, these people just live on these areas. Mm -hmm. They were expelled. So they say some kind of tolerance for, for the government mm -hmm. to let them live in here. Uh -huh. So they are allowed to live here. Yeah, in, in a couple of hours, actually, it could be some people sleeping around. So it's like, like a little. <laughs> oh, sh Ooh. Yeah, it's very slippy, slippery. Be careful, baby. United States. What state? North Carolina. Carolina. Oh. Yeah, it's very slippery. Thank you. Okay, so these people, they, they were expelled from here. Looks like. What did they be in the 65 wow, years. Wow. Um, so they are living basically just right there. It could be how many? 50, 60 people living there. It comes and goes. Yeah. Part of, of the social problems that are just basically two blocks away. It's good that in some way the police they have so in some way some tolerance to let them live in there. Mm -hmm. But let's say at, at, the, at the end, it, it could be difficult because they do not have water, basic mm -hmm. services. But but they are part of this community, right? Uh, yeah. Cuidado, cuidado ahí. Cuidado ahí. Yo soy escalador, así que yo sé controlar mi, mi balance. Gracias a ti. Bien. Them. Here. This is wax from candles. Only thing that still, it's a as a part of our culture, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's magic. Yeah, we have the, the heritage mostly from, from Afro-Caribbean islands. Mm -hmm. So in Panama is Voodoo, the Santeria, there's many different branches of magic. Right. And what's happening here, basically, the, we call witches. Mm -hmm. They come here, they smoke in tobacco. Mm -hmm. So people believe in this, it's completely crazy. Because if, uh, if they wanted to damage somebody, they are going to send in to smoke to the bridge. It could be between 10, 20, 50, even 100 tobaccos, let's say, for, for, for a big thing. And they believe on this, and they're starting, sometimes people get sick, and we... So it's very, very inside in, in our culture, uh, this traditional rite. And here you can see the tobaccos. Oh, yeah. the, um. the witches is smoking every day. They walk in mostly with, with spirits. You can see the... Yeah. Right now, actually, you can say like, what this is, is it, it was worse than this. Oh, this wow. are this place. It was people like walking there. Yeah. Oh, wow. And so, people who believed in witches came here, or people who they, no, who the, the witches comes here to make have to make the, 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 the magic. magic. Yeah. Oh. Yes, the thing is because these constructions are so old, it could be spirits around here. Oh. So mm. they basically they're working with spirits. They're asking for the spirit for something, and the spirit what it's gonna do is is going to obey to the wish. Yeah. It depends. I don't believe a lot of up uh, for me. I'm Christian, so <laughs> I do not really believe on that. But I saw strange things in my life, which makes like a, a, as a Latin Americans with. Actually, believe on this. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, how we say, we, call, we say in Spanish, the wishes doesn't exist, but they are outside. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, gentrification is like you see them. So yeah. now we just look through. The oh wow! There. Yeah. Yeah, but here in in 30, 40 minutes, it will be a couple of dozens of people sleeping and doing drugs here. Oh wow! Yes. Important to say that still is not fentanyl on this country. It is good, but look. Right now, we just three blocks away. Wow, the chickens out. just crossed the street, <laughs> huh? Okay. Everything changed. <laughs> so, what is the, 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 the drugs that they are using here? Those uh, crack. Oh, wow. But oh. the crack is super cheap. Basically, they pay homeless pay like 25 cents for a rock. Oh my god. So with three or five dollars they have cracked for the inside. Yeah. For the oh for the wow. That, that guy that you saw there, it's my first time that I see them. So curious because he's been living here for a while and I'm doing this the last 10 years. 
and I never saw him. Probably if he wasn't recording, he doesn't look so fucked up. Mm -hmm. Because, and other thing is most of the time when these people speak in English is because they were involved in some drug problems and they were in jail in the United States. Oh, wow. Oh, how did they get to jail all the way in the United States? Because they bring in some drugs on, on the luggage or something. Oh. And, uh, they get in trouble there. And uh, because I like to speak in with them, asking, where are you coming? Yeah. What are you doing? What, what is this? Sorry, because they speak in very good English. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is fully cool. This is the school of the United States of America school. This is a school for a community of 30,000 people. Uh, still, uh, still, people still go here? Yeah, this is free. Oh, okay. It's public. What is curious is that for public schools, we put in names of countries. On this case, the name of this school is the United States of America Middle School. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> because we just put names random. Okay. Of, of countries to the public schools. Okay. So we do not use the names of patriots. We mostly use the names of countries for the public schools. Oh. Mm. It's free. Public schools is free. We pay about 1.5% of our income. It goes to, yeah, to the educational tax. That guarantee free education. Even if you don't have kids, you have to pay this tax. Mm. So you have the community. Then, then, then it helps because, for example, I've been in college, fully college, and I pay $20 every six months. Wow. Okay, wow. It helps. It helps. It's not the best education, but it helps. Okay, and right now you can see we're just right in the border. Now we are going to yeah. see the ghetto. Most of these guys around here, they are dealers. Mm -hmm. There is this building. Or we are going to see a mix of architectures. This is Jamaican wow. because the Jamaican built this community. Sorry. Many Jamaicans and people from Barbados came to build the canal. When they finished to build the canal, they decided to build their community here in El Chorrillo and Colón on the Caribbean side. Mm. That's why we're going to see some wooden houses, colorful. It's Jamaican. How, how do you know the Jamaican house? Is this because you know it, or is it by, yeah, by the wooden, like by how it's built? I'm sorry, the story of, of the place. Actually, I'm still know some people that I'm from Jamaica and they're doing some beverage from there, like a ginger beer, sadil. Yeah. They're walking around here yeah, selling those. Oh, wow. Beverage. We need to find some ginger yeah, beer. Yeah, I like, I like anthropology, so I'm always speaking with people, see the background. But, but then, of course, I'm studying the story of the canal. And there is the link. There is the, the link between the Jamaicans and... and oh, my God. Oh. And then we have also the immigration from south of U.S. It was made by... Uh, and then we have also the immigration from south of U.S. It was made by president, former President Lincoln. They wanted to expel it. Let's say the, the black community. So if I'm offending you, you. <laughs> okay. The Lincoln, basically, they made banana plantations in Central America, and they started to expel it people from the south. They were sending here. Mm. <laughs> that was a big plan for from from. From, from the beach, from the government, basically, to relocate the people from the south in, in banana plantations. That's how the banana plantations arrive in here. So we have different immigrations from Afro-descendant communities. First of all, we have the descendants from Africa, and actually Panama was one of the first port of entrance to slavery on the Americas. Slavery in Panama starting on the early 1500s. Mm. Uh, the Sunda and the indigenous starting to disappear, mostly because the flu, the war. Suddenly, they see that they needed somebody to build all this, or to build fortifications, working on the mines. And they are starting to bring in people from, from Congo, uh, from mostly from the central part of Africa. So the Europeans play a very important role because Euro European countries who had European colonies were authorized for, for human traffic. Mm. And about 36,000 people came here to Panama on, on the 1500s, and then on the 1600s it was more, and they were authorized. Every... That many people came from like Central Africa? Yeah. Wow. From Congo. Wow. So that's why they call, we have some dances that we call the Congos. Just so there's a lot of Congolese here. But is to see the legacy of those cultures is just one small part in our country, which is Portobello. 
Portobello. Portobello. They are directly descendants from Africa. Oh, wow. Still, they have some traditions with the drums, mostly, with their beliefs, with the food. It's completely different, let's say, that Afro-Caribbean influence. That it was mostly, well, Jamaicans and, and Americans, but the Americans failed because they started to die there on the banana plantation. At the end, it wasn't successfully, but basically Lincoln, the United Fruit Company, they started to expand it. All over Central America, actually, we were called the Banana Republic in the past because banana plantations. Gotcha. Oh, wow. So, here, this is the Thank uh, you for the hearts. situation of gangs. There's gangs members and each street is controlled by different gangs. Sometimes they work in a very, very small territory, but sometimes make problems between them. They are, they are looking used to, for territory. In a few hours, people are starting to come here to deal with, with something. It's some tolerance on the other corner. Uh, there is the, the entrance to, to the gate. But here we are going to see what we are inside. Thank you for the hearts, Alice. Sorry the video breaking up, y'all. Service be in and out. Welcome to Panama. This is in Panama, Casco Viejo. We're doing a tour. That's why I'm not talking as much. It's just me and my husband on the tour. You're welcome. Most of the kids, their life turns around these streets. Most of the kids that you see around here, this is the place that they are going to see. Probably during the first years of their life, until 12, 14 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are in danger. Mostly because they could be recruited by gangs. Yes. And why do gangs looking for kids? Because if they became as a hitman, there's less penalty on the jail. Mm -hmm. Uh, they look into transfer drugs because everything is less, they could be free, they just can recover it. the first time could be just attention. Then look how we have the graffiti here, we have owners of this that try to expel the homeless and so people that just basically turn down the walls and yeah. just goes back to, to their places every certain time with some fire because they could be distracted or sometimes actually it could be intentional fire. Thank y'all so much for the hearts. I know I'm not talking much in this live, but I appreciate y'all tuning in, learning about all the different sides of Panama. Look at this, it's mostly Jamaican architecture. You can see most of those houses are falling down. In the past, right now, this is recently fixed the drain system, but you can still, you can see the, the pipes that bring in fresh water to those houses. Bad water comes out from there. Um, there was a cow for these people. And they started to receive help from the government. Mostly because gentrification is coming here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that the background is helping people. You yeah. fix it and sell it for the There is one last you said this is a plaza? Barraza. Barraza. It's the biggest ghetto. Uh, there is a big drug dealer of this country. Or like, it could be different types of The dealers. biggest ghetto in Panama City or just like in this area? The biggest on the streets. Okay. So this is the kind of dealer who have the drugs from the drug law. Oh. They cut in on those apartments mm -hmm. and they distribute all over the city. Oh, and it's a confrontation with Patio Pinel, which is other thing very similar on the other side. Which is this is projects basically. Yeah. So they were built for social housing. Right now you can see in front this is new social housing. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But here are sometimes some stories that they've been shooting because it was a big confrontation between Barraza and Patio Pinel. 
that they've been shooting with AK 47s from the Pelances to the oil. AK 47s? Yeah. Sheesh. He, and here is lots of AK 47 because what's happening when United States invade Panama, our military is open containers of AK 47. For, yeah, for many years, guerrillas from Colombia mm. coming here to this place because most of, most of the AK 47 were here. Mm. Right now, it could be in different parts of, of the country, but still, every certain time, the police catch AK 47s. Wow. Yeah, so th this is the Barraza, this is the, the real ghetto, it, it's like any other ghetto in the world. There's people from different social classes, probably just 10 or 12 percent, let's say, is criminals. The other 88 percent of, of the population is um, living exactly. under the shadow of the ghetto. Yeah, yeah just trying can, to survive. Yeah, there is the gym. The, the ways to escape in from this is the gym, boxing. Uh -huh. Panama has famous world, world champs mm -hmm. like Hans of Stone, Mano de Piedra Duran, eh, Chenito, many different bo uh, boxers been training here. Actually, like five years ago, I saw a workshop training there. Oh, wow. Yeah, you saw who? Chemito Moreno, just Thank right you. before COVID. Oh, we, wow. We met him there. It was rebuilt very recently. Oh, right wow. now, actually, I think they switch from boxing to wrestling. Because it was recently open, just like that. Mm. We're done. And then we have so, uh, and then we have just a small recently this, this social housing on, on the right, also to make in other options. As I mentioned, most of these used to be wooden houses built by the Jamaicans. The situation of El Chorrillo, it, it was so sad, mostly because of drain, the water, uh, electricity, and like a man say, always it was fires around. Most of these streets, these houses are being burned by the fire. And the fires are on purpose? Sometimes it could be on purpose, sometimes it could be uh, drug addicts. So oh. Flashlight, cigarettes. Yeah. Room. The party? Is yeah. this just like an unofficial party oh, every weekend? 72 hours of music, domino, beer, fry fish. Is it, is it like territorial? Like is it like welcoming yeah, for anybody or is it like yeah, you need to be like from around well, here? You need to, on this case, if you are Panamanian, it's better if you know somebody around here. Yeah. Of course, you, know, you never know who is sitting next to you. And what if you're a tourist? Especially oh, okay. if you are a tourist, they probably call me with a tourist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know the place. Yeah, yeah, place. of course. Yeah. Nothing really gonna happen here. But what could be happening is this police around here. Then they could send you back to the old town. Yeah, like they'll tell you to leave. But but you know, you never know this is the ghetto. You know, I I've been with high run police from from LA, mm -hmm. I, I don't know how do you call you there. Yeah, so, LA. Something very, yeah, no, but something very, very high rank from the police. They were four, oh. they were detectives. And we've been walking around here, and suddenly a guy was with a machete, chasing another one. So, oh, wow. Together, you know, you never know. <laughs> I can tell you that definitely is completely different than the old days. And not many people doing this. Actually, we are a group of four tour guys that doing this around here. Uh, because people know, know us and um, we're trying to show in other faces and uh, show in reality also because this is in some way the last part of the reality of people. Yeah. Because what's happening in Panama, lots of justification. Yeah. Even in the big towers. Right now Panamanians we are forced to move to the suburbs. So this is the last part of the metropolitan area with real locals. Yeah. So look at those houses for example, look at up there, those are the bathrooms. Oh. Oh, 
hold on, y'all. I need to get my umbrella out. I got this loud ass umbrella out here. Just on the on the left, try to look from those guys. They are doing something there. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. But, uh, you can keep your cell phone like that. Okay. Patio Pinel. Patio Pinel. Patio Pinel. It's for a big compound of buildings with a, a social housing. But most of them also, it was built mostly for social housing. Some people own the property. But most of everything is social housing. And now look at that on the back. There is apartments of $300,000. Mm. It's right in the middle of the ghetto. Mm. Unfortunately, sometimes many families live in very small places. Look at the room. People like on the Caribbean lots of to play domino. So they are rebuilding up I'm starting to hurt from holding this umbrella. I said my thumb is starting to hurt from this umbrella. <laughs> Hola. Buenas. Buenas. 
go for yourself. Time to take some for Jamaica. Very good work into the time. Still some people living there. Yeah. Well, the number from top on the left is lottery. down there. Mm. It's a tough life for them. Yeah. Well, comparing with Latin America, it's, it's not so bad. It was worse and it's improved. Yeah. Seems like a lot more street cats here than dogs. <laughs> Yeah. Like compared to other for dogs, places in Central America, like in El Salvador, there's like dogs everywhere. It's more controlled. The, the city collects the dogs. Oh, it's, but not the cats. Not the cats, no. Huh. It's a sad story for dogs because if they are not adopted, they will be fried after a month. Did you say fried? Yeah. They like cooked? With electricity. Oh my God. Yeah. No, like I can say, all this is improvement. But right now, what we have is more animal rights. Yeah. That makes you sterilize cats and dogs. And it's a lot of foundation stuff for to adopt people. Yeah. That it encourage people to adopt. Call that ghetto yeah. fabulous in the United <laughs> States. <laughs> and here is the soccer team. And probably could be training. It's a game. You said what, babe? The senior league. The Panama football club is full of soccer. Naturally. Okay, what is first, second, baby? They play tournaments here. Yeah. Most of the, the, the economy could be turned around on bets. The economy what? Could turn around bets or a gamble. They put money on the games. Um, it could be you saw people playing chess or domino also. That's our way of the economy. They sell illegal lottery. Drugs unfortunately on the street. Alright y'all. 